Fleet Ridge Police say they have identified the driver involved in a hit and run that killed a man. However, they are not releasing the driver's name because they might not even file charges. Tonight, Denver 7's Patrick Perez is finding out why and hearing from those who knew the man who died. At the corner of 44th and Kipling in Wheat Ridge, drivers were used to seeing 56-year-old Carmen Sanamo holding up his sign. He wasn't an alcoholic, he wasn't a drug addict, he wasn't violent, he just was a broken person. But at the end of last month, they never saw him again. Police say he fell from his walker and onto the street near 41st and Kipling. A driver hit him and kept going. We were investigating this initially as a hit and run injury collision, and then several days later we got the news that that gentleman had passed away at the hospital. Since then, Wheat Ridge police investigators have been working all possible leads to find out who was behind the wheel. They only had a description of the car, which surveillance video showed arriving at a nearby gas station shortly after. And they did a lot of work trying to pull a plate from there. Through that plate, they were able to identify a driver and speak with both the driver and the passenger, who both indicated they were unaware that they had struck somebody. Because the incident was not caught on camera and because the driver said they had no idea they hit someone, police spokesperson Joanna Small says they are not recommending charges. And I know that's going to make some people angry because it is a tragedy and they want to see someone held accountable. There have been a lot of comments on social media from people asking questions like how did the driver not know that they hit someone? Well, Small tells me that Carmen had partially fallen onto the street and the driver clipped him but did not run him over. That lines up with what the driver told investigators. Now that the case is in the district attorney's hands, Jenny Heath, who knew Carmen, hopes charges are filed. I don't believe it. You, you knew you hit a man and a walker and he was severely injured. I just think you have to step up for what you've done. But even if nothing comes of this case, she hopes to remember Carmen by getting a sign put up near his corner to remind drivers to be careful. He's not in pain and he's not cold and he's not hungry and now he's with the Lord. In Wheat Ridge, Patrick Perez, Denver 7.